Welcome to our Energy Connect studio at Gastec 2022. I'm delighted to have sitting next to me Bjorn Otto Servadro, who is the chair of the Oil and Gas Climate Initiative Committee. Um, thanks. Nice to meet you in person after our Zoom interview. Finally, and, and thanks for inviting me to be part of this show and, and this conversation. Yeah, great now, to see you. Thanks, Bjorn. Um, since we last spoke, more energy companies have joined OGCI's Aiming for Zero Methane Initiative. Um, you must be happy with the response and maybe tell me a bit more about who's joined and giving me an update. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, natural gas is, is a very important product and it plays a key role in the energy transition, right? So in order to, to make sure that we keep the attractiveness of natural gas and make it a resilient fuel, it's very important to minimize the methane leaks. Yeah. So that's why to ensure that it is a very, also with a lower footprint than other sources, we, we, we launched this initiative calling Aiming for Zero Methane Emissions. And the purpose was basically to say, maybe it's time for this industry to approach methane leaks in the same fashion as we're doing with oil spills, zero tolerance. So we launched in this, in this initiative, first with the 12 members of yeah. OGCI, but we, from the get-go we designed it to be inclusive and try to invite the industry mm. on the journey. And the potential is tremendous. It's nearly like two gigaton of CO2 equivalents coming from the oil and gas sector. Now, a couple of months down the road, more than 60 companies have joined. Wow. So we are quite overwhelmed by the response. Um, some very large and significant companies have joined. I'm particularly happy to welcome Schlumberger. You know, they have more than 90,000 employees. Honeywell, but it's 99,000. Baker Hughes, 54,000. So service companies are teaming up and joining mm. uh, this week. So, uh, today, actually, Saipan, the Italian giant, yes. is joining us. Oh. But also Qatar Energy, yep. Wintersaal of Germany. So this is building a lot of momentum. That is really good to hear. And with this momentum, where, you, where do you want to take them, the initiative, obviously, with the goal itself, but even more companies and then sort of, I don't know, have, you know, all collaborating together on what you can do? So, so raising awareness and having more companies join yeah. will in itself be important because that will lead to more companies requesting methane detection services. Okay. Also, more methane leaks. And, and it will also lower the cost of yeah. reducing methane emissions. So... The numbers are important, but it's also yeah. important to uh, try to achieve a, from the top of these companies a shift in mentality, right? To say, let's think differently around this, because this industry, we must admit that, have designed machinery yeah. that could only work with methane leaks. And going forward, we need to fix that. Yeah, it's a big project. And what I'm also gathering is you're, maybe you, you feel that methane emission or trying to get to zero emissions is getting the attention it needs as you said the industry is actually realizing that this needs to be talked about and actioned on you know we are very living in a very kind of crucial situation right yeah. uh, there's uh, of course uh, understandable sh focus on the short term access to energy yeah. energy prices but then of course and i think when we need to solve for that we need to look at something that's resilient for the long term. I believe that it's clear that, you know, to change the energy system is gonna be very comprehensive. Yeah. Natural gas is a very important part of the current energy mix and it needs to be with us for a very long period of time. Uh, and sh changing from coal to gas is actually much bigger jump when it comes to environmental footprint than changing a gas fired power plant with renewables. Yeah. So, 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 making sure natural gas remains attractive and accepted is very important. And then I think it's fair to say, methane leaks, they don't belong to the future. Got it, Bjorn. Um, and where to tie in with your initiative and you know, collaboration, but also education of these kind of shows, like a gas deck? How important are they to sort of talk on a panel, or meet fellow compatriots? I think actually this is a huge industry. Uh, and uh, 
I'm also of the view that this huge industry, uh, among the industry that needs to change the most in the coming years. So, uh, so both getting to me to get inspired about what's happening, because there's a lot of change going on. There are different products and services being offered. The scale, it reminds me of the scale and the capacity of this in, uh, industry. But also, of course, it's important to, for us as a, as a group, or, you know, as an industry to yeah. evolve how we see the world, how we think around the future and, and also develop a narrative to do that. So I believe Gas Tech, I believe Adipac and ONS of Norway and some of the European, you know, the US events have an important role to play to convene people and, and to help set the direction of this industry. Okay. So I've been loving it. Oh, well, that's really good to hear. And I remember my Zoom interview, I mean, the history of OGCI with the connection to COP. Yeah. So obviously we've got COP coming up now even closer in Sharm El Sheikh. What are you going to be doing around it or is it? Really? No, so I think it's important. It's going to be an African COP, right? So hosted in Africa. And also the next one is going to be in, in, in the Emirates. That's right. So, so I think it's a reminder that, you know, this is a global challenge. Yeah. Uh, energy transition is going to unfold. It's a very important part of climate energy, and an energy transition will unfold directly in different geographies. And I think it's just fair to expect that in Egypt, the discussion is about going to be: Are you going to pay? Uh, who's going to lead this? And I think uh, uh, the richer part of the world needs to be ready to play a role. So I don't know really what to expect from this okay. COP. Uh, but I believe the industry is ready to show up. Okay. And I would love if there is an opportunity to discuss the significance of methane emissions yeah. because 7% of world total emissions are coming from this industry. Half of that is some um, methane leaks. Well, that would be a good platform. Well, we'll look out for that, Born, and maybe hopefully see you down at Adipec. Would love to do that. Thank you. See you. And thanks for coming by. Thank you.